An outcry over a proposed surcharge on cell phones finds the Baltimore County Executive now backing away from taxing each phone each month. Johnny Olszewski Jr. had proposed the controversial tax in a bid to make up for an $81 million budget deficit. The county executive says he still wants to raise money for schools, parks and roads, but he also doesn't want to cut too deeply into families' budgets. We've had lots of conversations. We've been engaging in town halls and forums and, and hearing um, from our residents and from council members. And so, um, but we heard loud and clear uh, there were concerns about the per line approach. And so we're actively working to try to find a better way to, to still meet the needs, but also do so in a way that's more, more um, aware of how our families might be impacted. County executive says he's now exploring a surcharge on each account or each family, and he'll look for additional revenue to make up elsewhere in his proposed budget. Police have made an arrest in a carjacking in Baltimore County. Around 9 o'clock Wednesday morning, officers were called to the 8700 block of Mylander Lane. They say someone stole a 2013 Ford Escape. Police later found the truck at the Towson Overlook on Cromwell Bridge Road. Investigators are asking anyone with information to give them a call. With a 9% water rate hike about to take effect in Baltimore, there is some help for those struggling to pay their bills. Baltimore H2O Assist will make bills more affordable. So here's what the program will do. It'll reduce water and sewer use charges by 43%. Remove both the bay restoration and stormwater remediation fees from the bill and cut the typical bill by about $40. All of this to help customers before they fall behind on their bills. Eligibility is based on federal poverty guidelines. Customers with existing senior or water billing assistance program will automatically be enrolled. We used to have multiple applications for senior as well as low income, hardship exemptions and all that. Right now it's all single application. Right now, 43,000 customers are eligible for the program, but only 3,000 are enrolled. Registration begins July 1st and will be available at five community action partnership centers in Baltimore. Recently, nearly 30% rate water hike was approved in Baltimore over the next three years. And as we take a look at the weather headlines for this evening and over the next couple of days, we're talking about rain chances moving in some overnight, but more likely as we head toward Thursday morning and then again on Friday as we head throughout the rest of this week. We're talking about warmer conditions, temperatures by Friday reaching the upper 70s and low 80s and potentially getting even warmer than that across parts of our weekend. And the question is, how long will that warmth be out there? Well, it looks like it could be out there as we head throughout the early part of next week with even warmer conditions toward the middle of the week then. But as we focus in on what's happening in this evening, we will notice clouds out there, although this model is not showing a whole lot. But by the time we get to Thursday morning, we'll see clouds moving in. That will be associated with the front that will bring some isolated rain chances with us. But at this point, or isolated rain chances to us, but at this point, it's not looking terribly impressive. And by the time we get to the afternoon, we're talking about temperatures comfortably in the low to mid 70s. But as we talk about the forecast for tonight, temperatures down to 53 degrees. It will be a warmer night tonight with more clouds out there and showers around late, but then again as we head toward early Thursday and as we talk about golf, hey, let's say if you're thinking about going out and playing a game of golf or a round of golf, uh, we're talking about temperatures uh, near 75 degrees by the afternoon, but early in the day we could have a shower as that front is moving through. As we take you to the seven day forecast, again, a shower early Thursday and then another cold front moving through as we head toward Friday, bringing late day rain and even storm chances. That front will sit nearby and bring us some isolated rain chances by the time we get to Saturday but the weather for Preakness should still be nice. Temperatures topping out near 79 degrees. And then by the time we get to Sunday, we are in the low 80s with the pop-up shower likely. More rain likely with the cold front on Monday into parts of Tuesday. And then we have some questions as to what will happen with the temperatures by the time we get to midweek. As of now, we're keeping it at 78 degrees, but there's a chance we can see some warmth out there by the middle of next week. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also, for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2 app in your phone's app store. You can get our live radar and breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Swoop. This WMER2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.